On today's show, we're going to be talking about a hard case for your SD cards and a little extra tip in here on how you want to put them in to make sure that they don't break. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here at youtube.com slash photojoseph, all about photography and video and live streaming, and in this case, storage of those cards that you need for pretty much all three of those things. Kind of an important thing. Hey, if you're not watching the show live, you could, you should, it's kind of fun. You get to participate in the comments like this. Look, someone even came over on Twitch the other day and I totally missed that they were there, but it, Tennessee, ten, 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 hello dude, back at you. Uh, yeah, participating in the chat, in the live chat is awesome. See the at Photo Joseph on there. If you type that in, it shows up red. I know you got a question. And we always conclude the show with a QA. and a I go through the Q's and try and give the A's. And uh, yeah, that's how this whole thing works. So today's show is about something really, really simple and basic. It's going to be a very quick one. It's about storage for your SD cards. There's a lot of different ways you can store your cards, but one way or another, you got to store them, right? You got to have some kind of a case to store these reasonably fragile little things. Not only do you want to keep them safe, you want to keep them from getting lost. Very good. I've been using this case for years. This doesn't have branding on it. I don't know if it used to and it wore off. I have no idea. The latch is broken. I've had this thing for a long time. It's dead now. But there was a problem with this case that I always had. And so I had posted a post on the Twitters. This is a, a month or so ago. And uh, let's see, let's get the right one up. There it is. I posted this thing asking the Twitterverse, what SD holder, card, card holder I can read do you like? Because the one that I've been using has been breaking my cards. And I'm going to show you this up close. And I got some great responses on here. Um, people giving me some feedback of what they liked. And there were quite a few brands that came in. Some people saying they prefer soft cases. I like the hard cases. That's cool. Um, but one came up many, many times, and that was this Pelican case. So this, you have all, all know Pelican, right? Pelican, they make hard cases. I've got several of them um, in different sizes for storing camera gear or whatever. And the great thing about them is they lockable, they're waterproof, they float if they drop into water. They are, uh, I don't want to say unbreakable, but you know they're really, really tough. And so you think, well, if they know what they're doing for the big cases, they can probably make an SD card case as well. This is the case. This is over at the B&H website. It's the Pelican 0915. It's just under 20 bucks. So it is uh, for something that's going to keep all your photos safe. I think it is a cracking good deal. And this particular one holds 12 SD, 6 mini SD, and 6 micro SD cards. That's a lot of a lot of cards in there. I actually do have the mini SDs. None of them are in here. But let's take a look at how this, how this works. It comes in a little case like this, little blister pack, whatever. Um, let's take a close-up look here. Let's go for the overhead view here. And you can see in here that there are the bigger holes. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's do this close-up view. That'll be a little better. You can see that there are the bigger holes, so the big, huge hole for the SD card. And then inside that, there is a smaller, big hole for the, uh, uh, what is that, micro SD and the, or mini SD or whatever the heck that one is. And then there's the tiny, where I can find it, there it is, the teeny, tiny, tiny little hold for the micro SD. So you got micro, mini, and full-on SD card size holes in this little case. Really straightforward, right? All this thing does is you just you pull the cards in and out, right? Easy enough. Now, you might be looking at this thinking, dude, your cards are upside down. And this, this is the tip. This is the main thing. This is the problem that I have with this card, this holder. So let me, let me do, I'm going to push this one back in and I'm going to go for a close up here. And you'll see for this case here, I'll probably just zoom that in a little bit more. There we go. See for this case here, um, this is snug. This is not a real soft rubber. It's kind of soft, but like I'm push, it's actually, this is pretty darn hard. Um, and this holds different size uh, cards as well. Well, it's just pretty, it's pretty cool. It did what it's supposed to do. And so, I was always pulling my cards in and out of here, and here's here's what happened. Here, look at this. See what's happened. Like I'm trying to get. Oh, look at what I ended up doing to so many of my cards, splitting apart there. So number one, this case was too hard. Now I'm not throwing anybody under the bus because I have no idea who makes this thing. But if you're shopping for one of these and you're not buying the Pelican, if you're just in a store, make sure that this is not super hard foam. For that reason, it holds the cards too firmly and they break apart. So this one. If we look at this card holder, this case, this is much softer. Let me see if I can go for kind of a, see how soft that is? This is really soft. It is holding it snugly. They are not going to fall out. As I'm doing this, I'm really hoping none of them fall out. Uh, and, uh, but they're really easy to get in and out, right? You can, when you get in there, you stick your finger in to pull this thing out here. It's just nice and easy, popped right out. And now, why are these cards upside down? Well, here's, here's one of the things. Remember, I just showed you this, right? I know it was a really long time ago, but um, do you remember when I showed you this part here? It's splitting apart. The bottom of these things is a lot tougher. The bottom of these is thicker. It's, uh, it doesn't have all the little holes in there for the contacts. 
It is the part that you were meant to grab onto and when you push in the card in and out. So by design, it would seem logical, and it is logical just by looking at it, this end is stronger than this end. So if you're gonna be pulling on an end of the card, maybe, maybe you should be pulling on the bottom. So maybe, just maybe, you should be inserting your cards upside down so that when you pull them out, you're pulling on the bottom. Or, you know, if you like them being this way, let's just flip it like that, and now you're pulling it from the bottom, whatever. Whatever makes sense to you, but having the card inserted so that the grabby area is on the bottom makes sense. I thought, maybe I've just been doing it wrong all these years, but I look at the case, and sure enough, no, they're showing it here the way that everybody always has, and I've always done it myself, but this makes more sense. So do them upside down. That way, when you're pulling it out, you are grabbing it by the back end, and you are going to make your cards last much, much longer. That's it. Really short and easy show today, as I said. So we're going to wrap it up there. Hey, if you decide to buy one of these things, uh, do me a favor, use the affiliate link down below. That's always awesome. If you uh, you want to put this thing to the through its paces, you want to see just how good this thing really is, then I highly recommend you take it to India with me l early next year. This is going to be in uh, January through February of 2019. You can see the dates there on your screen. Photojoseph.com slash India to learn all about it. And this is going to be an incredible photography tour slash workshop that we're going to be doing. And it is going to be a great place to find out just how strong this Pelican case really is. Just tell you what, if you come on that, if you come on that, I will buy you one of these. How's that? Okay, um, yeah, I guess that's that. So let's go over to the q and It is, uh, it's that time of the show. We're gonna jump into the Q&A. There's a couple things up here on screen. I don't know if any of them are actually questions or just comments. So if um, if when the show's over and I'm pointing over here and there's nothing that's a Q&A, then we drop the Q&A. But we're gonna go see if there's anything to talk about. See you in a minute, bye.